Allow me to introduce you to Hanok Piven. Piven was born in Uruguay in 1963 and moved to Israel at the age of 11. He is a collage artist and illustrator of children's books. Piven studied at the School of Visual Arts in New York. He is most widely known for his portraits of famous people using everyday objects and junk. Not only do his portraits look remarkably like the person he is representing, the actual objects used in creating the collage often tell about the person as well. Piven does workshops for adults and children around the world, teaching his style of playful collage. He believes that anyone can do art, that we are all creative, that drawing is not the only way to create art, and that words are not the only way to express ideas, and that playfulness is important in order to overcome obstacles. So Hannah Piven is an, the author and illustrator of several books, not just for kids. These books can also be enjoyed by adults, but I have two of them here with me today, and I thought I would just give us a quick look at um, the perfect purple feather. You can see he's painted a banana blue and found household objects, and this whole story um, is about a feather. You can see the objects, and it's about a purple feather and all of the things that the purple feather could become. So it becomes a bird, a cat, a porcupine, an ant, a centipede, an owl, a dog, a lion or a tiger tiger, I guess, an elephant, and in the end, the purple feather um, was in the book for you to do whatever you wish with. So this was just one example of um, one of his children's books, and then he has several. Um, what This one is what presidents are made of, he has one what athletes are made of, and even one about what families are made of where you can see how he creates some of these. And so um, what I love about this book is not only does he actually pretty realistically represent um, the presidents and, and he even gives all the pictures in the back so that you can see um, what they looked like in real life. So Abraham Lincoln actually looks like Abraham Lincoln. Not only that, but you learn a little bit about the presidents. So for this one, um, we know that Abraham Lincoln was president during the time of the Civil War. So you see something that would represent the Civil War. He was a lawyer. So there is the gavel in the courthouse, let freedom ring. He believed in freedom for all. And there's a level here because he believed in everyone being equal. And so that's what the level would represent. And then the broken chains, he um, signed the Emancipation Patient proclamation which freed the slaves and so the broken change would represent that and it actually really looks like Abraham Lincoln um, If you go back on the back Barack Obama, you can see Barack Obama had has big white teeth So he he tends to show people with big white teeth with these chiclets. Um, he did it with um, John F. Kennedy as well um, but um, and then he tells you a little bit about the president so he always um, had dreams and so um, the little genie's bottle would be about dreams and wishes coming true the flag because he was a president um, so as you go through this book and I'm not going to go through every page but for George Bush for example he owned a baseball team so they put the baseball and the hot dog that you would get at the baseball um, stadium and you can learn a little bit about each president President Reagan loved jelly beans. Just a cool book that goes through the presidents and and it actually looks like some of the past presidents using just junk and items that also represent the characters. Today we are gonna create our own Hanok Piven inspired portrait. You can either use a paper plate or if you have paints and cardboard, you could paint yourself onto a piece of cardboard. 
I went ahead and found some objects around the house that represent me. So for my nose, I am using the wrapper of some thread. I love to cross stitch a needle point, so that would represent something I like to do. For the eyes, I'm thinking about using blackberries with some M&Ms because I love M&Ms and some caps for Sharpies. I have dark eyebrows and I love to use Sharpies, especially in the art room. I also love to drink Diet Coke, which I know is terrible for me, but it represents me. So I decided to use a small picture of Diet Coke cans for the teeth. For the mouth, I used a bracelet because I like to wear bracelets and I also like earrings. And so I chose as my earrings pictures of two of my favorite books because I also like to read. You can use whatever objects you wish to create your self-portrait. I'm thinking the eyes are a little much, so I took away the blackberries. Added a small piece of art to show that I enjoy teaching art. If you don't have cardboard and paint, you can simply find a white plate or any plate really at your house. Piven loved playing with his food when he was younger. You could use objects from your kitchen to create your self-portrait if you wish, or find objects around your house to use with your plate. Here you can see I just used some Publix bags for hair, um, some fruit for nose, and decided to add a smile. I can't wait to see what you do.